Hello. I'm Larry. I'm a teaching artist with LACMA, and today we are going to do a cool little workshop where we make a talking puppet using a simple brown paper lunch bag. So we'll start with this, and then we'll turn it into something really cool, like this. So we're going to be primarily using collage, which is cutting and gluing, but we also might have some markers and stuff. So anyway, why don't you join me in the studio and we'll get started making a talking paper bag puppet. So let's get started. Uh, I guess we should begin by collecting our art supplies that we're going to need to create this project. I've tried to keep it simple, things you can find around the house. So obviously, we're going to need a brown paper bag, lunch sack of some sort to make your talking puppet. Keep in mind, I'll remind you again, but this crack here is going to be the mouth. So your upper lip is going to go here and your lower lip is going to go here and you can do more mouth inside. But just remember to be careful not to cut or glue anything on the sides or here. So, paper bags, scissors. If you can't find scissors, you could just tear some paper and do collage using just tearing instead of cutting, but I got scissors. I prefer glue sticks in terms of gluing this stuff on. It's much simpler and easier. You don't have to wait for it to dry. But you know, if you've got white glue around, you can use that too. I definitely prefer the glue sticks. Pencil. I'm thinking a uh, pencil just in case you want to uh, mark where you want to cut on your paper that you're going to be cutting, or you can use the pencil to kind of figure out where you want to put your, to mark it so you know where to glue it later. Uh, let's see, markers. If you want to use some markers to draw with, I prefer, on um, what we're going to be using today, permanent ink markers. If you don't have permanent ink, you can just use kids' markers. The only problem with them is if you try to color on top of shiny magazine paper, the ink doesn't really dry on the shiny glossy. You know, it'll dry on round paper bags like this. So if you want to use it, you know, or a combination of both, you can decide on that. Then also, I'm going to be using mostly circulars, junk mail, you know, just stuff that I would normally throw away that comes in the mail to do my puppet. I'm actually gonna challenge myself to try to use only these circulars to create my puppet today, which kind of reminds me, that kind of reminds me of pop art, which was a movement in the 1960s where things that were used in commercial art, graphic art, you know, branding type things, um, artists, fine artists would take and reappropriate it to make into fine art. So if you ever wanna get inspired by the collection at LACMA, you can always go to collections.lacma.org and then go to the search bar, search bar and type in, you know, a category, a subject, an artist. So, you know, today, because I'm talking about pop art, I was, I was looking at pop art imagery. And then also we're going to be using collage, which is cutting and gluing. So those are the kind of words you can do in the search bar. And you might get really inspired by some of the things in the museum's collection. I love to look at art before I make art. So anyway, that's about it for the supplies. Um, I'm going to leave this list here and you can pause the video now while you collect all your um, supplies. So pause. And I'll see you whenever we resume. Okay, welcome back. I hope you were able to collect some kind of old magazines, newspapers, junk mail to, um, you know, to use for the collage. I also was remembering to use gift wrap paper. Actually, this is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, maybe this could be an eye. So here's some holiday wrap. And maybe I'll just tear this corner off. See, it already is the shape of an eye. So I'm just gonna really quickly cut out that shape. Basically what I'm gonna do now is just demonstrate how I go about cutting a bunch of shapes and then playing around to create some kind of a character for your puppet. You might already have a certain idea of a type of, you know, a cartoon character or some kind of a 
you know, certain special puppet that you want to make, but I try to kind of keep it open in my brain and just look, move things around. My favorite part about doing collage is you can try a bunch of different things. Like I'm gonna cut out this avocado half. I'm gonna cut it out just not carefully to begin with, just to get rid of the other paper. Sometimes I get it down to a smaller size so it's easier to manage. But you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking maybe this would be a cool eye or an ear, something kind of nice for my puppet. So again, you can be thinking about a certain idea that you want your puppet to look like, but whenever I do that, it always ends up really different anyway. You know, I'm looking at these bananas and I'm thinking eyelashes, or eyebrows. You know, I'm not gonna cut all these right now because I just wanna get going to let you create your own, but I'm just thinking, you know, these could be, those could be your two eyes, part of it, these prescription bottles. You could cut them out into circles or you could cut carefully around the edge. Totally up to you how you want to do it. But I've already cut some other shapes earlier that I will show you now. Let's see, where are the corners? They're underneath here. So voila, bingo. So I've got all these shapes that I cut out earlier and we're gonna arrange them. This is the fun part. This is my favorite part about making these is, you know, once you cut up a bunch of shapes, you get creative. Like, I'm not even sure exactly how this is going to go, but I played around with it earlier. And I'm thinking, I, maybe for the body, oh yeah, I thought about this. Once you kind of get things worked out and you know where you want to put things, you can just start gluing. Or if you really want to get it exact, sometimes I mark things. Like if I want this here, I might take my pencil and do a line here and here just to mark where I want to put things, little registration marks. But you know, you don't have to get that detailed. You can just start gluing things down. And when I glue, I just usually like to keep um, a piece of paper handy. Let's see, maybe I'll use this so that I don't get glue all over my table. But let's say I definitely want this eye, so I'm gonna glue it about there. And this is kind of hard to see because it's camouflage. <laughs> Do-do-do-do-do! <laughs> 
Bingo. So there he is, all made from circular junk mail. You've got mail. Look at this other ear go. There. What can I name him? Anyway, you can pause it and work as long as you want. Make your own puppet. See what happens. But that is what I created in not too long today. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I hope you created a really cool puppet. If you didn't like what you came up with today, keep working on them. I work on these all the time when I have spare time. And if you come up with something cool, post it. Post it, tag it, and post it on social media, at LACMA. I'll show you a few more that I've done over the years. Showed you this one at the very beginning. This one, markers on the face, paper plate for the hat crown kind of, and just kind of bright colored paper for the body. This one, mostly construction paper. Now some of these are years old. Oh, this one. Sometimes I take, um, I use photographs and make uh, color copies and enlarge them. I made this one for my friend for his birthday about 10 years ago, and see? It's my friend and he talks. This one, actually I use this one, um, poster paint, temper paint, and a little fur for the head. Very fun and simple. This one, more magazine. You know, just cutting things from pretty much a fashion magazine, it looks like. And my treasured, my most treasured one. I will let her introduce herself. Ah, I'm Myrtle the Mermaid. Larry made me about 16 years ago in New Orleans. Anyway, hope you all had fun. We're saying goodbye. Do 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 do